JBJ and welcome to the Cake PHP tutorial. This is part one, an introduction and an installation guide. Who is this video and this Cake PHP video series for? It's very very simple. It's for people wanting to learn Cake PHP 3.0. 3.0 is the newest newest version as of this video. So, if you want to learn this PHP framework, you've come to the right place. I will take you from knowing absolutely nothing about CakePHP to someone who can use CakePHP in their own projects every time they want to. But first, let's get some information about this series as a whole. As I mentioned, we will get started in CakePHP. The series is for CakePHP beginners, so if you already know CakePHP, this might be a little bit too simple for you. We will be using CakePHP's official bookmarker tutorial. You can read this tutorial online available at CakePHP's website, but some people prefer to get tutorials in a video format, so that's what I'm doing. I'm converting the tutorial into a video presentation. I will assume that you know PHP, MySQL, and you have basic MBC knowledge. I will not assume that you have any Cake PHP experience at all. We will start from the bottom and work our way up. This video's roadmap will be to get a quick overview of Cake PHP 3.0. After that, we will be installing the core of CakePHP and we'll be setting up our new projects which we will be working with for the rest of this series. So what is Cake? CakePHP is an MVC framework written in PHP. The newest version is 3.0 and if we have to talk about 3.0 versus 2.0 the biggest difference is that 3.0 is object oriented, whereas 2.0 used arrays instead of objects. So obviously I would always recommend that you use the newest version available. Maybe when you watch this there's a 3.1 or 3.2, it shouldn't matter as the basics should be the same. CakePHP has a high learning curve, but it's worth it. After you've learned CakePHP, you'll quickly see that it has lots and lots of features. You can use these features to fasten your development. That means you can build complex applications much faster than you could with normal PHP. It also means that you get a much better structure because it us utilizes MVC. If you're writing plain PHP and you are working on bigger projects, you quickly realize that PHP scales poorly unless you implement some sort of structure yourself. By using Cake, this structure is already in place, so your application will scale very good and have a very good structure. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we need to get is something called Composer. So what I'll do is just write Composer in Google, and the first one that pops up will be the getcomposer.org. If you go into that site, you'll see a very simple page, and as it states here, Composer is a dependency manager for PHP. I'll not be going into much detail about Composer, but all you need to know is that Composer will fetch everything you need. So you can tell Composer, I need to use this, and I need to use this, and then you just tell it to download it for you, and it'll download these frameworks or packages for you put them in a folder and create a file called autoload that you can just include in your pages and you have access to them. So as it state, states here, Composer is a dependency manager for PHP. So we go into the download and in the top you can see that it tells you to run this in your terminal to get the latest Composer. This will assume you have curl installed. 
and I do not have curl installed, so I will be using this. Now, I will copy this, I will put it into my terminal. Oh. But before I put it into the terminal, like that, I have to redirect to the place I want to install the project. If you just bring up the page again. There we go. You can see that it says it will download the latest Composer file in the current directory. So what you want to do is navigate to the current directory in your terminal. I'll be using Mac, so if you're on the Windows, the commands might be a bit different. But I use ls to list the current directory I'm in. And I want this to be placed under my MAMP uh, server. So I will just change directory, go up, go up again, and then I will go into my applications folder, then I will go into my MAMP folder, then to the htdocs, and well, then I will navigate there myself, just so you can see it in the folder here. So Using the terminal, I've navigated to this folder. And this is where I place all my projects. So I'll create a new project and I'll call this Cake PHP YouTube. So if I list my directories again, you can see that it will appear right here as the first one. So I'll go into this one CD Cake PHP YouTube. Now if I list this one, it'll say that it's empty. Okay, so far so good. If you've never used a terminal before, this might be a bit tricky, but it's very simple. Use CD to change directories, and then just write where you want to go, and you use this to go up a layer and ls to list. But you can read more about that online, I won't be going into any more detail about it. But what you want to do is navigate to the folder where you want your product to be. I've done that, so this is where I want my project to be. So I copy this from the composer and I say I want to install composer in this directory. I run it and you can see it's downloading and it puts a composer.far file in my directory. And that's great. So now we've installed composer. Now we want to install Cake. To install Cake using Composer, we have to use this. I will be putting a um, small description, or I'll, yeah, I'll be putting this down in the video description below the video, so you can copy paste it from there. Uh, also, with a small guide on how to do this. Um, there's no need to remember this, you just copy paste it in. <clears throat> so, standing in the same directory, I will run this, and it tells Composer to create a project called Bookmarker, and to install Cake. You can see it made a lot of installing, and it asks if it can set the folder permissions, I'll say yes to that, and it's done. So we can see that it created this bookmarker folder here. So if I go into this one, you can see a lot of files in here. Um, there's a vendor file, and you can see it downloaded all sorts of things. Now this vendor file is actually the composer file. It creates this auto load, um, representing all these different kinds of um, frameworks and packages for PHP. And this is actually it. Now we have actually created a Cake PHP application. In order to test it, we can step into this bookmarker application we just made, and we can run the command uh, to start the server by writing bin slash cake server. And 
then it says welcome to the cake console and it says that we have a local host right here so if we enter that local host we can see that the cake PHP has the ovens ready for us we have a lot of check marks saying everything's good our version of PHP is fine everything's fine here the only thing that's not fine is that KPHP is not able to connect to the database. And that's fine, because we haven't given it our database information, so that is to be expected. This is actually where we will conclude the video, because if you can see this page, you know that you have created a KPHP application. You know that your installation is correct, because you started the server in this directory. So what you're running here is essentially your application. So when you can see this page, you're done. You have installed KPHP. Some might say simple, some might say it's not. But once you've done it once or twice, it's really fast. If you're on a Mac, you might get an error when installing Cake, something about an, an INTL file. Just Google it, and the first one there will have a solution for you. And I, I think that's that goes for pretty much everything. But that's the only issue I've encountered while installing Cake. Everything else just went smoothly. So as I said, I'll be putting these um, these terminal commands down in the video below, and I'll also be providing you with the links to Cake PHP's tutorial and to the composer site for your easy reference. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this first part. We haven't done much. We've just gotten a quick overview of KPHP. We've installed it, and we're actually ready to dive into Cake in the next video. Uh, we just have to set up a database and make the connections, but then we'll start to explore Cake more in depth. So, hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. And if you like this one, please consider commenting, give me suggestions, what did you like, what didn't you like, throw a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't approve, subscribe if you want to support me, or if you really want to be the greatest person in the world, you can hit the donate button in my channel. And you can also find a link in the video description. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.